There's dozens of people arrested in a massive raid targeting the Mexican mafia. And right now, many of them are rounded up in a South El Monte Park. And that's where we sent CBS 2's Dave Lopez. And Dave, we understand that this raid was years in the making. We have been told, uh, Sharon, that this is about a four-year planning operation. They, they call this uh, Dirty Thirds. Now, the reason they call it Thirds is because it's centered on drug trafficking in the jail. And if you were not a member of the Mexican Mafia, I am told, you had to give either one-third of your drugs or one-third of your profits over to the Mexican Mafia, or else they'd take care of you. Behind me, they are wrapping up this area. I'm in Whittier Narrows, where they brought 29 of those that they took into custody. That's where they brought him here for processing. Now, uh, this morning, we have some areas of, of what uh, the area looked like earlier. We had the FBI, sheriffs, DEA, Pomona police, and U.S. Marshals all converge on a number of different houses throughout Southern California, many of them, I'm told, in Pomona. Now, as a result of that early morning raid, they took in 29 uh, people into custody. They also raided the L.A. County Jail, where they took 43 inmates into custody, and they are now being taken out of the jail and into the federal uh, detention area, where they most of them will be charged with drug smuggling and also extortion. I've also been told, as you take a look at some of the ground stuff, uh, the ground shots that we have earlier, that one of the members of the Mexican Mafia who was in custody also will be charged with three counts of murder, ordering murder on the street, three hits, if you will. I'm also told that uh, the Mexican Mafia had such a stronghold on the uh, drug trafficking in the jail that they were able to tax people who weren't part of it, also uh, order uh, not hits, but beat people up in the jail if they didn't cooperate. And they also controlled a lot of the drug trafficking out on the street. Also arrested were members of the Pomona gangs. I'm told there are four dozen different gangs involved in, uh, in these arrests, all centered, most of centered in the Pomona area. Much more will be given to us at, the, uh, at a one o'clock briefing. 87 uh, people were on the list of the indictment. I am told they have all in custody with the exception of 11. So there are 11 fugitives. Again, this in the, in the making for almost four years.